Alright, hi guys. Um, I'm just going to run through a quick tutorial on the basic uh, four bar loop uh, with four parts and some drums thrown in. Um, I apologise for this makeshift way I'm having to do this, but uh, I don't have any of the fancy software, I'm afraid, to make it look more professional. Um, so hopefully all the sound is going to carry good enough for you to tell what's going on. I think there might be a little lack of bass on here, but um, on the plus side, you do get to see my face. Hey. Anyway, right. Um, okay, so to start with, I'm sure you've done this all before. The top button in the corner here. You go to manage, hit new. And I'm not going to do this because I've loaded it up already, but you want to hit OK and then uh, give your new project a name and hit the done button that's in the right hand bottom right hand corner and you should be taken to a page like this um, this seventh heaven bit here will be slightly different you'll have that I should imagine but I've just chosen a slightly different sound for my first instrument uh, it's all preset anyway so you can easily choose it yourself um, right so this top corner button gives you all the options you've got. You can choose which instrument you want to use. One, two, three, etc., etc., up to the drums. Um, song takes you to your arrange page, so you can see what you've recorded and you can edit from here as well, but don't worry about that right now. Uh, mixer, you can obviously mix the volume of your tracks, and manage is all of the save and load and all that comments. Right. Uh, I have left within song, okay, you can choose what tempo and what time signature and everything, it's all in tools down the bottom here. Uh, I've left it as it is when you just load up a track, so 120 BPM and 4.4. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have chords at the top and a bass line, a lead line. Uh, an extra sound on there and then the drums on five and six that's by no means like the order you should put songs in that's just how I'm going to do it for this uh, this demonstration um, right so let's record the first bit um, obviously to record something you need to have a page where you can input the sound so for a synth you need the keyboard um, and obviously if you're recording drums you need to be able to hit the pads uh, right so choosing number one uh, I've chosen the sound I want and your record button top right hand corner uh, it gives you a two bar count in by default so I'm going to leave that like that and record the first bit okay um, actually I'm going to turn the click on as well because then it gives you a metronome whilst you're recording so you can tell if you're in time and here we go. Okay, so you've recorded, hit stop, you can then listen back to it if you want. Uh, it's quite useful to go into song again so you can actually see what you've recorded and the click is going to play until you unhighlight the click button but I'm going to leave it on for now okay so track two um, I'm going to put the bass in here I've just chosen preset number four universal bass I've pitched it I've gone up a couple of octaves just so you hopefully you can hear it on the recording um, normally obviously I'd do it uh, at least a couple of octaves down. Um, right, so same again. Um, hit record and go for it. And also remember to have it going to be recording from where you actually want it to record from, unlike what I just did. But that does enable me to show you the undo button, which again is in your top menu top corner button here right here undo will take away the last action you did 
So yes, please. Okay. Let's try that again. And this time I'm going to remember to re rewind back to the beginning. Here we go. Okay. So we've got the two tracks there. Let's just check they're sounding all right. Oh, I've just noticed you can see me in the corner there. Nice little treat for you all. Right. Um, okay. Third track is going to be um, the lead. Again, I've just chosen one. Um, let's rewind it to the start of the loop and record a lead. and simple um, and as we've got one track spare I'm going to put like an extra sound at the end um, also to do this I'm going to hit play first and then hit record nearer the end so I don't have to sit through the intro as well uh, so the uh, counting um, like this Okay, so we've got all of that there. Now it's time to record the drums, which is your last uh, the TRG16 here. Here we go. Um, you can record the drums, you can set it to record either on track 5 or 6. So I'm going to go for 5 to do the main bit of the drums, and then I'll record a fill at the end uh, on track 6. Um, you can record them both on track 5 if you want, but I'm going to do it on track 6 for this just to keep it clear and obvious what's going on. Right, so uh, just check we're back at the beginning and attempt to record a drum beat. Hopefully by the wonders of quantization right here, that is going to be all in time. Magic. Right. So to record the other the fill at the end, you want to change your record track to number six. Again, as I say, you don't have to, but I'm going to. Um, and then record again and I'm going to do the same thing where I just play and press record later ok so if we look at what we got hopefully and take the click off this will work <laughs> Cool, right, okay, well that is a simple 4 bar loop and a text message uh, thrown in for free. Um, I hope that's cleared some things up, obviously it's just the basics, but um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully I haven't wasted your time. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, cheers.